So good morning everyone and welcome to Morning Prayer, Wednesday of Holy Week. Let's make a start. O oh Lord, open our lips. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, Amen. so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Amen. So, um, let's read this psalm it's quite a long one actually elizabeth do you want to help with that yeah sure okay oh lord hear my prayer and let my crying come before you hide not your face from me in the day of my distress incline your ear to me when i call make haste to answer me for my days are consumed in smoke and my bones burn away as in a furnace. My heart is smitten down and withered like grass so that I forget to eat my bread. From the sound of my groaning, my bones cleave fast to my skin. I am become like a vulture in the wilderness, like an owl that haunts the ruins. I keep watch and have become like a sparrow solitary upon the house chair. My enemies revile me all the day long and those who rage at me have sworn together against me. I have eaten ashes for bread and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and wrath for you have taken me up and cast me down. My days fade away like a shadow and I am withered like grass. But you, O oh Lord, shall endure forever, and your name through all generations. You will arise and have pity on Zion. It is a time to have mercy upon her. Surely the time has come. For your servants love her very stones and feel compassion for her dust. Then shall the nations fear your name, O oh Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has built up Zion and shown himself in glory. When he has turned to, prayer, to the prayer of the destitute and has not despised their plea. This shall be written for those that come after and a people yet unborn shall praise the Lord. For he has looked down from his holy height. From the heavens he beheld the earth. That he might hear the sighings of the prisoner and set free those condemned to die. That the name of the Lord may be, be, be proclaimed in Zion and his praises in Jerusalem. And peoples are gathered together and kingdoms also to serve the Lord. He has brought down my strength in my journey and has shortened my days. I pray, O oh my God, do not take me in the midst of my days. Your years endure throughout all generations. In the beginning you laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you will endure. They all shall wear out like a garment. You change them like clothing, and they shall be changed. But you are the same, and your years will not fail. The children of your servant shall continue, and their descendants shall be established in your sight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and now shall be forever. Amen. So, any thoughts about this psalm? Again, it's about a time of trouble, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. But it also has the reassurance that God will always be there. It does. Whatever. Indeed, yeah. Yes. And it yeah. also alludes, it also says to the fact that even though we um 
even though we believe in God, we still have to go through um, trials, temptations, experiences, but mm. the abiding, um, our abiding grace is that God is always there, mm. guiding us through whatever we face. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, well, we've got a passage from Wisdom, which is from the Apocrypha. So I think we'll just click through to the um, Jeremiah reading. Sorry to give you more Jeremiah. Um, but that is Jeremiah 11, 18 yeah. to 20. You, there's, a, there's a link at the bottom of the Wisdom passage through to the Jeremiah. Jeremiah yes, mm -hmm. okay. Have you got that, Bisola? You okay. just wish to keep us with Jeremiah. All right, so why, why don't you read that little passage then from Jeremiah? It was oh. the Lord made it known to me, and I knew. Then you showed me their evil deeds. But I was like a gentle lamp led to the slaughter, and I did not know it was against me that they devised schemes, saying, let us destroy the tree with its fruit. Let's cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will no longer be remembered. But you, O Lord of hosts, who judge righteously, who try the heart and the mind, let me see your retribution upon them, for to you I have committed my cause. Okay, uh, thank you. So, um, some quite interesting images here, and obviously this passage selected because we're in holy week and drawing closer and closer to the cross so you have that image of the gentle lamb led to the slaughter uh, but there's also an image of a tree with its fruit being cut down and quite often in the bible you get people being described as trees so two images there of how um, Jesus is going to die, or pointing forward to that. All right. Um, so if we scroll down, we're continuing to read Luke's account of the Passion. Um, have you got that, Jenny? Yes, I have. Lovely. Okay, so why don't you read that? Okay, Luke 22, Luke 22, 54 to 71. Yes. Then they seized him and led him away, bringing him into the high priest's house. But Peter was falling at a distance. When they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them. Then a servant girl, seeing him in the firelight, stared at him and said, This man was with him, but he, he denied it, saying, Woman, I do not know him. A little later, someone else, on seeing him, said, you also are one of them. But Peter said, man, I am not. But he denied it, saying, woman, I do not know him. A little while later, someone else on seeing him said, you are also one of them. But Peter said, man, I'm not. Then, about an hour later, yet another kept insisting, surely this man also was with him, for he is a Galilean. But Peter said, man, I do not know what you're talking about. At that same moment, while he was still speaking, the cock crew, the Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him, before the cock crows today, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Now the men who were holding Jesus began to mock him and beat him. They also blindfolded him and kept asking him, prophesy, who is it that struck you? They kept heaping many other insults on him. When they came, the assembly of the elders of the people, both chief priests and scribes gathered together and they brought him to their council. They said, if you are the Messiah, tell us. He replied, if I tell you, you will not believe. And if I question you, you will not answer. But from now on, the son of man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. All of them asked, are you then the son of God? He said to them, you say that I am. Then they said, what further testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves from his own lips. Okay. 
Thank you. So a little bit more of the story. Yeah. Here we have Jesus, um, Peter denying Jesus, denying that he knows him. Yeah. Um, just as Jesus predicted he would. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's very sad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. but very real too yeah very real yeah so Jesus really on his own um, Judas has betrayed him Peter has denied, denied, him. denied him yeah and all the other disciples have gone away. Um, apart from a few faithful women. Mm. Mm. Um, all right, let's scroll down then. We'll read the responsory. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Or by your cross. Uh, God, God, we did the world. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. We adore, we adore you, you Christ, bless. and we bless you. We preach Christ crucified, the power of God and the wisdom of God. God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. We adore you, and we bless you. By your holy cross, we have redeemed the world. So let's pray, um, Lord, it is a very sober time as we journey through Holy Week towards the cross and we know what's coming and we know what Jesus did, uh, what he suffered for us and we thank you, Lord. Uh, we lift to you all those who suffer today in body, mind and spirit. Um, praying for Jenny and um, and her sister Gillian, um, for Christopher and Vivian Golis, for Sati Ganani, Evelyn Hannah, Sean Hunt, Pete Jadhav, Maureen Kelly, Anna Lee, Norma Piper, Susan Rigby, Betty Seaman, Peter Woods, and also for um, John Wharton. Um, Ian, so can I call you back? Just, just in morning prayer. Yep. Okay, I'll call you back. Yep. Um, yep. So, Lord, please bring hope and comfort, bring courage and healing in the power of Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We pray for all the people who have enjoyed this hot weather. Yes. That it doesn't compromise our road map, as it's called. Yes. As we slowly come out of the confinement. Mm. May we be sensible. We know we all would love to be with our friends and family. But we need to be sensible if we are to um, come out of it and not have to return to it. Mm. So give us courage, Lord, to be sensible and to know what is right so that we can all enjoy each other's company to the fullest extent as the summer months come. Amen. 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 Lord, we just want to thank you for um, a new day. Thank you, Lord, that you have prepared special blessings for us, especially for this day. Lord, as we gather together, we pray that you will 
um, as we read and as we pray together, Lord, that we'll be drawn closer to you. And Lord, because of your sacrifice, we know that your grace is sufficient for us. So Lord, no matter what our experiences are, we know that you are always with us and your name will be glorified. So we thank you, Lord, that um, your love and your grace could be evidenced in our lives and that others could look at us and see, Lord, that we are indeed led by you and that we want to follow you and they too could, will choose that way as well. So thank you for your love. And as we go through this day, Lord, I pray that as we experience your love and grace, that we'll, we'll share it with others. This is my prayer with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Using the traditional version of the Lord's Prayer, standing at the foot of the cross, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, today, today. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who us against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the glory forever, and forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Amen. 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 Amen.